Let's see how to do maintenance for VX3000 series. To do that, go to Maintenance from Main Menu. A new window will open. Click on Connection. It will connect to Unit. Then, go to Log File. With this function, we can get logs from Unit. To get log files, click on Receiving All Log File. A new pop-up window will open. Select the location to save the file. Then, click on OK. Go to Next Function. Send Mail Log. With this function, we can get list of emails, send it from Unit. To get list, click on Receive Mail List. I'm not receiving any list, because I have not configured this function. Next, go to Online Log. With this function, we can get live logs from Unit. To get live logs, click on, Start Receiving Log File. As you can see on my screen, logs are receiving. Next function is, Indicated the Unit Status. With this function, we can see status of the unit. Here it's giving correct, if any errors are there, it will show incorrect. Dual click on that. A new pop-up window will open. Here it will give detailed report of the complete unit, such as unit configuration, RM configuration, amplifier configuration, etc. Let's close this window. Next go to indicate the broadcasting status. With this function, we can check output signal broadcasting status zone by zone. Let's try it. I will give emergency or fire alarm signal to unit. Here is the question, how to give fire alarm signal to unit, because we don't have any input dry contact terminals, but we have control input, which is RJ45 jack module. We have to convert the dry contact, to either net, through converter. This type of converters, have input as dry contact, and, output as either net. I have another solution for it, take a CAT6 patch cord, one end connect to unit, and, other end of the cable, remove RJ45 jack. Then, slice orange pear, and, touch to rack earthing. It will start broadcasting emergency sequence. To interface with fire alarm. We will receive a cable from fire alarm panel, take normal open signal from panel. Then, connect sliced orange pear to one cable, and, other cable connect to rack earthing. Once fire alarm activate, NO become close, then, Emergency sequence start broadcasting. I never recommend type 2 interfacing with fire alarm system. Because it's not the professional way. Let's try to give emergency signal. As you can see, below all zones, a dot appearance, it means the zones have receiving signals. Next, go to indicate for terminal status. As you can see on my screen. Control input getting signal and control output also giving signals let me try other pairs you can try eight cables differently or all together next go to init with this function we can select and unselect individual zones next go to edit with this function we can change the imtans for each zone and status next go to setting with this function we can make settings for ANCs next go to reference with this function we can check the status of ANCs to get ANCs status click on get hope you learn how to maintain voice evacuation frames through VX300 settings software this video is the last video for configuration of voice evacuation frames series I will upload upcoming videos on how to integrate more than one evacuation unit using VX300 settings software. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel.